Hi right, guys and welcome back to Dead Rising. This is part 11. In the previous episode, Carly had threatened to blow up them all and we're on a mission to stop him. We've got to stop all the bombs. Repping the red suit. Let's go. Let's get this shit sorted, man. But how are you doing today, guys? I'm doing pretty good for anyone that's asking or questioning anything. Oh, so we got to go through here. I always hate how there's zombies all in that, always in that elevator. I remember the first day you play it, like the first time you go down the elevator, there's no zombies in here. And when you come back in, there are zombies in here, which is like, wow. Like, Frank, do you not know how to close doors? We've got Isabella ringing us. Okay, I think I can make it through. I wish you can stop, like, skip this, because, like, you got the, you're like, stop, please. Okay, it's shit. Stop going off, phone. I hate Twitter, man. <laughs> I always keep getting messages through, like someone's like like this. I'm like, I don't really care. I think I've I think I've turned on a setting. I'm not quite sure. But um, I was posting Snapchat the other night of me just editing. Oh fuck's sake, Isabella. Okay, so after all that is over, okay, we've still got the fucking fire extinguisher. Let's just drop that. Um, yeah, both Snapchat me just editing, like, I have, I, edit on, I should really edit on this screen and then have more of my stuff on that screen. Someone messaged me, was like, Luke, how long was the video that I was editing? I was, I was editing Dead Rising Part 10. It was an hour and a half long. I shorted it down to, you know, 20 minutes. Or 20, I think it's 20 minutes. 20 minutes or so. And they were like, fucking hell, your dedication to the, that series is fucking remarkable. Like, yeah, to be honest, it is true, though. Like, I never thought I would edit a video like you know there's me barely bothered to do my college work but I can sit here for an hour and like it was nearly two hours editing a video like it's weird and these guys are still here I don't understand how they're still here after I've just killed them so many times but mate I've got the, the chainsaw this time fucking chundered mate fucking ended also this door was never opened before to us until this moment in time so we've got like we've got like what uh we've got a vehicle and a bike also you should have really picked up the orange juice I know like I said oh, I was going to pick up the orange juice. Um, you're gonna find out why I picked up so much because you're gonna get so far. It is, it's unreal, like literally, you're, look, look how many zombies are in this tunnel. And like it's shit how that you can't get the, the car down here yet, which I should really turn on the mission marker for this. The speed limit is 30, like this is going like what, five miles? It feels like it's going out five. So yeah, we gotta stop the bombs before Carly blows at the time all. Uh, I don't know where Brad's gone, we haven't seen him yet. My rad Brad, come back to me. Okay, there's, there's okay, here's the first truck. I got one. Chill your beans, love. All right, okay, I'm, I've just had to go do something quickly. So we got the first bomb, which is good. And we're on, I think, yeah, we're on, oh, 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 shit. All right, okay, so Carly is after us trying to stop the bombs. I forgot about that. Um, you can kill him and get 20,000 people. He power, um, prestige points. If he comes again, we'll just fucking end him. Mate, this guy has thought about, like, a suicide plan, as well as, like, releasing a zombie virus. Wait, how, oh, yeah, you just, ah, shit. Yeah, you, Wow, your windshield is fucked, mate. Oh, why are you ringing me? Wait, I swear this is like a mission to do. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, we need to sort that out because obviously we can lose like the majority of our survivors and we don't want that. Get off the fucking phone. Oh, that, that's, that, that, that's, that's, it, that's sorted. Okay, I oh shit, we're okay. We haven't got oh you motherfucker. We got no vehicle. Wait, is that a vehicle down there? We can, oh spank the fucking lord. Um, that's kind of fucking cheap skatey. Like the cutscene happens so and you've got like no car. So that means we've got three more bombs to get. I'm hoping this vehicle can like get us the three bombs. Okay, we've got immunity to avoid. Plus we got to save the girl. Oh my god, everything's yellow. Shit, we're gonna oh, okay boys. I know the girl that we can save is. We have to pick her up, which is, it's a, it's a good thing. Wait, please don't just drove past. Okay, I didn't. I was like, I was hoping that wasn't like a survivor to save them. Boys, level one, Gano. Dano, Gano, Dano. The karate shot, mate, that's, that skill is so good. I'm hoping, where is it? Is this one here? Okay, sand the smoke. We need to like get this done as quickly as possible. Oh, so there's a PP sticker here. Just take a picture. Don't 
but I didn't want to do that. I'm ever so fucking sorry, car. I'm hoping he can get us to the second one. Then the, 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 the last one. I don't know why I stuck so bad then. Yeah, the last one we can just get to it on foot or something like that. Oh, I spoke too fucking soon. Okay, times like this, quick step is like a blessing. Uh, so I think there's a car back here. I'm hoping it's still there. No, I've just wasted my time coming back this way. Fuck's sake. Get the fuck off me. See, this one, I mean, um, orange juice would help you a lot in this case because obviously there, there isn't many cars in the tunnels as well as like, if, if they are, you gotta find them. And look, I'm in the middle of fucking, I'm basically, this is like Walking Dead, but without the Walking Dead. So I gotta try and get over to the second one's quick. Oh wait, you can, oh, okay. It's only there, but I'll use the shopping trolley. Hear me out, I used a short shopping trolley to get over to the next place much more quicker. It's a smart plan, hopefully. What would make this, um, game even more better but this part is that you weren't allowed to use firearms because there's gas firearms you know boom or if you did it could like get rid of the zombies quickly oh, get the fuck off me um okay we're just drinking orange juice quickly i ain't dropping my chainsaws my these are my fucking babies i didn't want to do that oh you gotta press x I think, um, but you gotta press x i was pressing like yeah okay it is x then oh my fucking god let me use the shopping trolley please <coughs> Mate, IGN approves of this strategy, man. They don't really, they don't, they don't know who the fuck I am. So I could go out and get a motorbike, but I'm scared that it was like um, when I went into the shop to get some food because I was low. I am just don't want it to end, so I've got to run all the way back here. But wow, this is actually fun for it. I'm actually getting good kills as well. Yeah, um, this should be the final one. No, we, we can make their own foot. But God bless this chainsaw, man. It never my time of playing the Dead Rising franchise. Apart from, I say the um, the laser, uh, what is, what is is it the uh, the laser sword off Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 3? That is fucking magnificent. I do like the baseball bat as well as the defiller and all that. Okay. Yes, I got all the bombs. Is it better? Fuck off. Okay. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> fucking bitch. rid of your bombs this is as far as you go today just give up and surrender <clears throat> These are over, Carlino. You're finished.
The bomb's over and done with. Brad went after Carlito. Copy. Report back here, Frank. Yeah. My fucking red Brad. This is not fair. Um, wow, well, I don't I don't know how to respond to that. So we got a time until case eight to one, but for the time being, we've got to go and save the other survivors. Well, we've got to do the woman despair and the Kendall's betrayal. Um, so we've got to quickly do these, and then we're gonna to have to go find Brad, obviously. I mean we could do it now, but you know. Okay, I just thought about it, just like we'll, we'll go find him now later on. Brad? Frank! <laughs> Don't get any closer. Stay away, Frank. Don't get near me. What's the matter, Brad? Are you hurt? I'm coming over there, Brad. We'll go back together. If you're hurt, we'll patch you up. screwed it doesn't hurt not even a little I'm already dead. Frank. Don't tell Jesse about this. Oh, Brad, 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 you poor bastard. Oh, fuck. Good. Good to yourself an achievement. Okay, so it is sad that he's dead. I reckon people kind of know, like, why, Luke, why are you going back in there? If you take a picture of him, you get uh, an achievement. I'm probably a shit actor. But I'm sorry, Brad, man. I have loved every single moment of you. It's sad that I'm going to have to put you down. Um, there we go, Brad. Brad's gone, man. He's gone from exist existence. Shit, man. That's deep. Like, imagine that was like someone I knew I had to get him down. And like, this is about to blow up. We need to get the fuck out of it. Like, man, this is. I ain't gonna lie. If you're gonna go for that, um, the um, the zombie genocide, you can get yourself a van, man. Like, they fucking last for ages. It had to be done, though. It had to be done. I just hope that it, he's in. He's in the sky now. With all the other psychopaths that we just fucking slaughtered in this. Hey, right, I ain't gonna lie, this place looks nice. If this was like a like a shopping like a shopping centre in like England, I would love it. Not infested by zombies, nah mate. Too, but too fucking ghetto for that. But we literally got a week till Dead Rising is out and I, I'm fucking excited man. We got a week till Dead Rising 4 is released. It's sad that we need to complete this game. Alright, sit Simeon. Simeon, I don't know how to say your name. Obviously, you can take a picture of her if you want to. Uh, obviously, you've got the achievement if you can follow my uh, my playthrough correctly, snapping every single survivor. Right, the poor girl. Like, imagine she does turn, and we have to just fucking chainsaw in half. It doesn't mean she knows how to stop them. Oh, fuck. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's go, 
someone, so I don't know how, I literally do not know how to pronounce names on this game, and that was cringe. Yeah, just hurry up, like, we gotta speak to Kendall, sort him out, then we're Krispy Kreme Donuts, which they've been released into Tesco now, so I'm happy. I literally don't have to go far to get a Krispy Kreme. Get the fuck out of there. I did not you fucking- I'll give you that. Wait, can I give her CDs? I'll get it back. I'll just give her the pistol. Okay, come on then. You got a gun. You're a fucking bad chick. I've noticed here, where are all the zombies gone? Like, there, there's hardly none in the mall anymore. But like, usually, sometimes they'd be fucking swarming the entire, like, floor. Then sometimes there's hardly any around. But yeah, I can't. I literally cannot be believe Brad's gone. I can't. Nah. It doesn't seem so real to me. I just wasted a Queen Bee to kill two zombies. What the fuck is wrong with me? It's just, it's, it's the effect that Brad has gone from my life. Get the fuck off me. I mean, I'm having a traumatic experience. Oh shit, just, I just fucking chainsawed her. Fuck's sake. All right, come on, girl. I hope you can jump up this step. Because God all fucking mighty, you're gonna need some help. Oh, fucking hell, this girl is smart. She has been, like, one of the easiest survivors to escort back to the safe house. Obviously, apart from the ones I have to pick up and carry. Oh, she's 18. So she'd be what? She'd be 26 right now because it's 2016. Mate, look at that map count just then. Oh, so I got loads of PP from her. Right, when's Kendall? Is he in this back room? Mate, this is a lot of survivors in it. Fucking hell. I don't remember saving Josh. Oh, wait, was he from the hatchet man? Okay, Kendall, just shut the fuck up because I saved you. Of course it's coming, man. No one can leave a fatal journalist behind with all the deeds. Okay, they're like, as you're planning on riding a tank over here, I'm afraid you're stuck in one of met. Yeah, but. See, we're fucked. Just sit, sit here and wait for the helicopter. I actually can't believe I saved all of these survivors, though. Like, Gear was just doing the fucking zombie walk. Still probably pissed out his nerve. We are in the last 24 hours of this mall now, so it's shit, man. Mutiny averted. Let's just give this a save. And obviously, I'm going to wait until the jamming device starts. Plus, if any survivors pop up. So, yeah. As soon as Brad gets his hands on that terrorist, I guess it'll be case closed, huh? Oh. Uh, you know of anything else he could be planning? No. Nothing but the bombs. He's got his computer hidden away. I'm sure there's plenty of information on it. Can you take me there? To his hideout? Leave it to me. Okay, guys, we decided case 81. We've only got three more, like, cases to do. Then we got the facts, which is essentially overtime, which I'm pl I think we'll do... We'll go to Carlito's hideout, and then we're going to end it off there for today's episode. But, guys, it has been a blast playing this series. Obviously, we can say our fair goodbyes probably in the next part, which is sad. But then we got, okay, we, oh, fuck. We got, okay, we got, but, uh, sh I fucking hate these missions. Oh, God, somebody help me, please. I think it's a Molotov. Yeah, so we've got a present of Paul, which we can get when we go back. Oh, so I was, cal I was counting the survivors, you know, this part side. And we've saved 40, I think it's 47 or 48 survivers. Yeah, and to be fair, for a playthrough, you know, like, Kasira and I have never really played Dead Rising 1. Or really never paid attention, you know, to all that. Like, okay, there's this guy here, there, and there. I've done pretty well for this playthrough. Um, if we saved Ken, there would be more survivors that we would have saved. And fucking hell, it's better. You're going to really piss me off, I can tell already. Like, this is going to be some major, like, chainsaw cut at in, in the moment. I've just fucking hit her. Yo, stop shooting the fucking zombies and move. Like, in the bed, like, like, as Dory says from f fucking Finding Nemo, brilliant TV childhood program, well, program, I mean, yeah. film, sorry. Just keep, instead of swimming, just keep fucking walking from the fucking zombies so we can carry this shit on like a motherfucking box. As well, I feel like I've only shown, like, probably, like, like 1,500 zombie kills. I haven't really showed, like, you know, the entire, you know, journey. Which I know it's bad, and we'll probably be on, like, episode, like, part 24 or something. But here's the thing. The travelling is unnecessary, in my opinion, to show. I mean, I'll show little bits of me, like, you know, like, as I do, like, I show little bits of me killing zombies. But the other time, it's just, like, it's unnecessary, like, 
I'm pretty sure like people want to know the storyline, and obviously, yeah, killing zombies and shit is, you know, it's good essentially. But it's 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 my way. Like, it's when I edited the Fallout series, like the traveling, I cut out, but I still kept like the killing in. I don't know. I missed, to be honest, I've missed some great series. Like, I did the GTA series. PC's too shit. I've got GTA now, but I'm hoping I probably would do the storyline again. But it depends if fans want that again. Like, it did get good views though. Get the fuck off me, Isabella. Hurry the fuck up. I wish I could just hold her fucking hands. Okay, send so me just fucking chainsaw and just throw the queen bee. Sweet. Thank God for queen bees. Ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Fucking brain splatter platter. Get the fuck off me. Who the fuck do you think you are? Isabella, like, how? Like, this way was clear, girl. Unlike your fucking vagina. If you get gets grabbed here, I, I'm gonna quit the series. Don't, don't. Isabella, please don't. I love the series. Don't. Can we jump up on here? Okay, so this is Carlito's hideout. This is where he's been, you know, planning all his schemes. Crafty fucker, though. It's no good. It's password protected. I'll try words we both might know. Family stuff, things like that. What's this cable? It looks like part of a jamming device. I won't be able to disable it unless I log in. Okay, so it gains task case for eight to three. We're just gonna save it here quickly. And awfully sorry, for, uh, I should say this at the beginning of the video. I'm awfully sorry for the previous video that I didn't end it off properly. I'm very sorry about that. But guys, thank you for t watching today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. Next episode, boom, Dead Rising 1 is finito. We won't be playing this game ever again, which is sad. So next part will be the final part. Um, I don't know if this video has been long. I'm hoping it's not too long compared, you know, like, I hope it's not like 35 minutes or 30 minutes or so. Um, but apart from that, the next episode will be extremely long in my opinion. I think it'll be probably be a 30 or 35 minute episode, depending on what I have to do and all that shit. Uh, but guys, in the description below will be a link to my Twitter, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat. Feel free to add me on any of those. Um, I'm always active on all these social media links now. Uh, if you know, if you want to like, comment, or, or subscribe, that'd be fine. It's up to you guys. But anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I shall see you in my next video. Peace.